That's right, your hooligans. That's what you call a stage one. y'all notice but the bike's way louder the diesel is way louder idle way louder and the power is just amazing the torque man this bike really woke up i had no idea a stage one a simple stage one made such a difference these guys anyway so as you can tell I threw on the stage one and uh, yeah <laughs> I am glad I did that so at first I was worried about the cost and all the politics behind it like warranty so obviously a stage one for my road glide I bought headers I had the slip-ons already I went with the Vance and Hines, what are they called? Dresser duels, Vance and Hines dresser duels. Uh, and I have a Screaming Eagle High Flow air cleaner. I think that's I think that's the name they have, have to it. Uh, it's the wedge. I'll put, uh, and for my tuner, I went with the uh, FB3. So just a heads up, if you're ever gonna install an FB3 on your bike, I recommend you wait and install it while Vance and Hines is open. That way if you run into any issues, they'll help you out right on the spot. So I installed mine over the weekend. I think I installed it on like a Saturday. So I installed mine on a Saturday and the FE3 failed. It wouldn't transfer the map, it wouldn't work, it kept throwing errors and it broke my ECM so I couldn't even ride or start up my bike. At first I was thinking, wow, my battery died, I was going on the forums, and, you know, they said to plug your, your bike into a battery tender, so I'm like, oh, my battery's dead, so I went and bought a battery tender, I went and bought a uh, jump starting kit, I did it all, none of it worked, so I figured, okay, something's up with the, uh, the ECM, and when they opened up on Monday, so the guy basically confirmed, he's like, yeah, man, your, uh, your ECM is bricked. So what we're going to have to do is send you out a new FB3. And the cool thing is they overnighted it to me, so that's I didn't have to wait too long to get it. But uh, yeah, my bike was pretty much rendered useless for three or four days. And uh, yeah, everything was smooth when I finally got the, uh, the new FB3. The map transferred over, the bike was working well. The bike is a lot more responsive than it is without a tune. So check this out guys, an FP3 is about $300 or something, 300 and some change, depending on where you buy it. Uh, and to get your, your tuning done through Harley Davidson, you gotta buy, you gotta buy the Screaming Eagle tuner, Pro Street tuner, and then you gotta most likely buy an auto tuning. Uh, you gotta buy the auto tuner as well if you want to get it dynoed. So those two together, I think they cost about $800 total. And then to get it dynoed, you're looking at another, you know, few hundred dollars or whatever, depending on what they charge. I think Harley coded me like four or five hundred, which you know they're they're always throwing dumb prices at you, and I'm not ever, you know. I try to avoid the dealership as much as possible. Dude, why are you going 40 an hour, dude? Anyway, so yeah, I like to avoid the dealership whenever possible. Obviously, they charge you a lot of money. Everything's more expensive when you go through the dealer. So I figured, you know what? I'm just going to do all this on my own and save all the money. 
Um, I, I installed the headers on my own. That took some time. I don't have a I don't have a lift or anything, so you have to squat down and you know you're in awkward positions and whatnot. Your body starts aching. But I mean it's worth it. You save hundreds of dollars right there by installing it yourself. And uh, the air the air cleaner installation was easy as heck. It took like 15 minutes tops. So regarding the warranty, I noticed that now there's a lot of ways this can go. So I noticed that the FP3 you could always revert back to your your stock tune. Okay? So if you ever want to be sneaky, you could always do that. Now I also read in the forums that they can tell if you reverted back to your stock tune. They have ways of telling whether you installed a new tune and went back to your stock tune. So there's that. And then another thing, I also saw a video where they're doing an installation and they, they're also throwing on the FP3 and they talk about warranty and so he says he's had his bike for about seven eight thousand miles it hasn't had any issues and he said you know if you're gonna ever have warranty issues they're gonna present themselves in the first you know seven eight thousand miles or so so he said he didn't have any issues and he was good to go that was his justification and I felt, you know what, I'm not I'm not going to spend $800 to buy the Harley tuners and then, you know, once my warranty's over, I'm gonna, just going to take them off and then go with an aftermarket tuner. And I also heard their maps are garbage. Their, ma their maps like have to abide by, you know, the EPA rules and so the maps don't even give you the best configuration. So the tune is garbage on top of that. So you're spending two to three times the price for the, the FB3 for the, uh, the Screaming Eagle one, and it's mainly due to, you know, warranty fears. So I said, screw it. You know, I got one year left on my warranty. I don't, I don't care. My bike is good to go. So keep your fingers crossed that, you know, my bike doesn't run any issues. It would suck if my bike, you know, gave out a couple days after installing the, the Pro Street tuner. Right. Listen to that bike, you guys. It sounds powerful. I'm way more noticeable now. I'm not so quiet. Y'all hear the bike? Y'all hear that exhaust? You can kind of tell. It's got a little lobe to it. That's not, not bad. Man, way better than stock, dude. Way, way, way better. I think, I think in total I spent about three, four, about seven, seven, eight hundred-ish on my on the uh, stage one I did it all myself and yeah saved a lot of money there if you if you man if I were to pay Harley Davidson to do all the labor as well or you know even went to uh, you know some small-time mechanic or whatever it probably would have been another four hundred four hundred dollars or so for the labor um yeah you save a lot of money doing things on your own guys so that i'm kind of shooting two videos in one today guys i figured why not you know but yeah that's it for that let me know what y'all thought catch y'all later peace